Hello and uh, welcome to our first edition of Let's Debate. Uh, here we're going to be debating two, I suppose, popular MMORPGs for the PC, which one is Aeon, or Ion, depending on whatever you want to call it, and the other is uh, Star Wars The Old Republic. Um, the person who plays Ion the most is my friend Egmont. Hello. Hello. And uh, my other friend is Terry, who plays Star Wars The Old Republic. Yes. Okay, so this is just going to be a simple debate about, well, which one is better, which one each of these uh, two people prefer, because my friend Egmont, obviously, he prefers Aeon, and my friend Terry, he prefers to play Star Wars, so we're going to start this debate right now. Okay, well first let's just start off. Ian, my friend Terry here, why is, why, why do you play, first explain what Star Wars or Republic is, generally. Well, it's an MMORPG um, created by Bioware, and um, basically it allows um, people to basically pl um, live life as a Padawan, um, either for the Republic or the Sith. Um, they can choose different classes that have different abilities. So they can choose, obviously, the Jedi um, with different races, or they can choose, like, a smuggler who will get more items and... Um, will work for like more underground missions um, you, you also, it also adds a very in-depth storyline that allows you to make choices that are similar to Mass Effect the Mass Effect franchise and I really like that in the game um, because it allows it allows you to choose your own destiny as your character yeah so that's just the basic overview of uh, Star Wars The Old Republic and our Egmonts you could do the same for Aeon uh, basically Aeon is MMORPG game same as um, Star Wars, it is a MMORPG, so you play online, play with others, there are two races, Ellie's and Asmodians, which, uh, in, me, uh, in a story, they were, they were playing, uh, not, not playing, they were, they were together, and then, um, afterwards, uh, by story going on, uh, apparently, they are against each other, so, the thing is, uh, about this game, you, you level up, you dress up, uh, According what level you go, you get stronger and stuff. There are uh, there are four main classes, and uh, each class got two subclasses, which uh, again gives you uh, different abilities, uh, different stuff you can do. Uh, Aeon has got amazing uh, graphics and uh, quality. Uh, obviously, if you have a good computer and uh, uh, monitor, then you can experience all this uh, greatness and uh, all the all what it offers the say and okay so moving on quickly moving on to the graphics part uh, Terry you believe or do you believe that Star Wars Your Republic has better graphics or potentially better graphics this is implying max specs uh, the computer's maxed out all the graphical settings is high do you believe that the Star Wars Your Republic has better graphics than the Aeon? well the thing is with MMORPGs um Developers have to um, kind of balance out quality with how that's going to affect the server performance. Originally in Star Wars in the beta, um, and the maximum graphics that you could choose were actually very high quality. And um, if you put it to the max specs now, you'll see in the cutscenes that, that it's very different. And that's basically how it was in gameplay for the beta. But the problem was... Um, is the fact that um, it caused a lot of server crashes, so they had to take yeah. out all the high quality textures out, and now the high quality is now only medium. So technically, in that regard, um, it's either balanced or Aeon would be better because originally, um, originally Star Wars was better, but I don't know. I don't really know how but, it would compare. But, but, well, maybe there'll be future patches which will sort this problem out. Possibly that there might be improvements to the graphics further on down the line for Star Wars. Yeah. Okay, so uh, like once with with Aeon, I've seen Aeon quite a lot recently. I've been playing it, but I think the graphics are quite impressive actually for a, a free, free game, especially. So, do you what do you think about the graphics at Aeon compared to Star Wars? Because I know you've seen Star Wars a little bit. So, explain the graphics compared. Yeah, um, according to that, um, Aeon is now for free, and uh, the graphics are amazing. And at the moment, what I'm, I'm playing at the moment, I'm playing 2.7 version, 
Oh, they have released 3.0 version of IOD, play the IOD, try it on a private server which has got imp uh, quite uh, improved uh, graphics, uh, more detailed, more uh, more fancy, uh, more still just uh, more stands out. And the thing about A and uh, the graphics, uh, uh, when you when you max out uh, all the graphics, you actually see the difference. You all, you actually see all the difference. Uh, you see everything what it offers. You can have weather and everything. Uh, but as well, besides that, you need to have. Uh, I would suggest four gigabyte of RAM to actually uh, play A and to actually enjoy without lagging uh, the the uh, without any lags. But if you if you if you just want to play it and you really enjoy it and you don't really bother much about the graphics and quality and stuff and all the detail what this game offers then you can you you will be enough with a uh, two gigabyte of ram and yeah and don't forget you need uh, uh, about one gigabyte of graphics card as well and the, the such gr such a, the, the the most best thing what i like about this is such a detail such a uh, weather and then weapons, armory, everything such a worked out some so details uh, and then uh, graphics like the sky and everything being drawn so uh, detailed and uh, fancy and it's just it's just amazing how the people been uh, how much people been working on this. Yeah, so it's it's been uh, established so far, I guess that both these um, two people believe that Aeon has the better graphics despite the fact that uh, Star Wars may possibly have some updates in the future but uh, quickly moving on from that um, try and keep this basic but it's known that Star Wars costs money so have a subscription a monthly fee maybe Ian could you explain the fees possibly well um, for a month it's um, a little bit over eight pounds in up to nine pounds um, of course, it increases for um, 12 month membership, and obviously, if you buy it online, it's recurring, which I hate. Um, you can, of course, buy like um, game cards that you can for the Warcraft, for example, from game, um, if you can find them there. Some do, some don't. Um, it's, it does it in mostly just before the date which i don't really like because money comes out unexpectedly so it doesn't really do it exactly on that month um because i've had issues with that yeah that's i've had that problem before yeah yeah true. um but other than that it's it's pretty it's pretty cheap in my opinion um i don't mind paying that um as, as far as as far as I know, it is cheaper than World of Warcraft, is it not? The subscription. Yeah, I fees. would I would believe so. Um, but mind you, Blizzard have a IF fan base, so they can you know they they yeah. can get away with that. Um, so, uh, but there's also the fact that it's um it, it might cost for a reason. Oh yeah. I'm sure, like it, it's more it's more it's, yeah. It's a brand new game. They need to quickly earn uh, earn their money. Is it Bio? Yeah, yeah, Bioware that makes the game, the company. So they need to quickly earn their money back from what is already a very expensive mm. game to make. But um, Egmont's with what Aeon is free, of course. Uh, yeah. Uh, as well, there's a catch in this all this thing. Oh. Um, when you play it, actually, yeah, you play it, you do stuff, but there's an actual catch. Uh, there's a gold pack in actual game which you need if you want to uh, if you want to trade with other person uh, some stuff like weapons armory or any quest items whatsoever and then uh, to use broker where you can access like it's like a sh uh, like a shop where uh, everyone just puts their uh, stuff like in a market yes yeah it's like a market yeah. and then as as well um, this gold bug gives you a little boost on um, experience and as well it does uh, uh, take down an instant uh, timing how much how, how long you have to actually wait until you get in the in that instance uh, you can all actually uh, as well call it dredging so yeah that that's a uh, one of the things but mostly if you if you if you if you're right all right playing on your own and you don't want to communicate with anyone really and you're okay with just what you pick up and stuff then uh, You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah, but I can't. I wanna. 
I won't get some for for me like for example I won't get something what others cannot and then uh, or uh, or others uh, so I I need that broker basically uh, and then uh, instead of yeah. going for hours on one um, monster and fighting him against against the gate I mean again 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 until it drops that item no I just go and a broker and buy it for um, I don't know. Depends for for what level is that item or whatever. Yeah. But so, so it's you do it is free to download. It is free to play. But obviously there's premium content which you can pay for if you want to. If you want to um, obviously have uh, the edge above other players on Aeon, you can. You if you want to, you can buy this gold pack to get the premium content. Of course. Yeah, but yeah. either way, you can play along with other players for free. You can. Go uh, be in a party. You can chat with everyone. You can um, be in alliance, in guild, and as well. Um, there's a thing uh, w what I like that gold pack can be bought not just for real money, but you can gather uh, in the game actual kina, which is game money, uh, and then uh, other people put in a broker uh, those gold packs, and you can buy it. Uh, for Kina, but they're like 10 million, 9 million, and then that price is just going up, down, yeah, depending can... from the market situation or uh, what is on. Constantly changing. Okay, so this is the last, the last part, of course, which most people will consider the most important part, probably above the graphics, is of course the gameplay. Now, Ian, I've uh, seen a lot of uh, Star Wars playing the, the trial, and uh, Star Wars: The Republic actually has quite similar gameplay to all the other uh, MMORPGs, yeah. the exact same layout. So explain the ex explain the, the the gameplay, it's as easy as you can, as general as you can, the gameplay, overall gameplay of Star well, Wars. Well, um, the game allows you to play the game at your, um, to um, complete the quest at your own pace. Of course, there's a lot of other side quests you can do for your particular class and um, level. There's like class um, quests. For your particular class, there's levels based upon what level you are, and um, also ones to do with the story of your particular class. Um, you can do them at your own pace, and also when you, when you do the quest, or obviously you can make choices, either to the Jedi, to the Republic, or to the Imperial um, Empire. Um, hmm. And of course, you'll such as such as in Mass Effect, how you have the options to choose uh, for each different yeah. option of your character to change the yeah. direction, the path you want to take, and that have different okay, endings, yeah. and different outcomes. Yeah, so th th I noticed that that's one of the main parts of uh, Star Wars: The Republic. The main thing, special grasp about it, is that you have this choice to make these several choices through the dialogue options. You get to choose all mm. these different options to to reply to the characters in the world. So that's quite interesting, I suppose. Yeah. Um, with uh, Aeon Eggmonts, I know that um, it doesn't have the thing like in Mass Effect where you can choose your options and you can uh, you can choose your path. But uh, the gameplay is quite. Um, Quite extensive. It has a lot of options, does it not? In Aeon. Uh, yeah. That 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 is um, like uh, something different from the Star Wars. This, this, this on Aeon you don't have. You basically, you have main storyline, which is uh, now actually there are two storylines. Depends uh, on the race. You can if you take Asmodian race, you have a uh, their storyline. As I took as Ellie's, I have uh, other storyline. But uh, everything just uh, leads. I mean. No matter what class you take, you have the same quests. Uh, but as well, besides that, uh, there's an, uh, one thing what gets back to the uh, like uh, how to say uh, just just equals everything out. That this game got thousands and thousands of quests, and there are a lot of missions what do, and there are side quests and then special quests and then. There are as well, uh, well as well like uh, item quests. When you pick an item, you can click on uh, there's specific items uh, which you click on and you begin a quest. That's what, one of the things what I like as well. So yeah. Yeah, of course. If people enjoy, uh, I know of plenty of people that play MMORPGs. They do enjoy lots and lots of quests to play. It's not just about the storyline for these people. A lot of people just enjoy to play the quest to get experience and to, to level up their character. Some people don't even care about the storyline. Some people just want to have the strongest, powerful character they can possibly have in the game. 
so yeah yeah that's both really good points um so yeah there's a conclusion from uh star wars the old republic and aeon ion so yeah thank thanks for taking part in the debate guys all right all right thank you bye yeah thanks for, thanks for watching people bye, bye.